Hi everyone. Um, today I just wanted to do a short video um, because I had a conversation with a friend um, about authenticity, um, depth and basically being real. Um, and I think this has come up for me the last week or so. Uh, noticing it in, you know, a lack of integrity or a lack of depth in other people, making me look at myself um, and who I'm choosing to be in the world and what matters to me, what's important. And um, I wanted to relate this to the detox uh, simply because when you're detoxing, eating cleaner uh, and not shoveling know so much processed crap in your system it gives you an opportunity to get really clear um, literally in yourself and to start actually taking steps to look at how you are showing up in the world um, it's partly why I've got all the guys doing it's in the guys the girls uh, as well doing the video diaries because as well as holding them accountable to stick into the detox, it helps them to see other people's journeys and what they're going on. And as long as they're being their true selves um, on camera, talking to you as if you're a best friend, then it helps them to remain authentic within themselves and they can see how they're showing up in the world. Um, and to me, I think that's really important because you don't often get a chance to really see how you're showing up in the world. Um, so I hope the guys and the girls are enjoying <laughs> making the videos. Uh, it's a big learning curve uh, actually for me as well. It's a bit strange sometimes watching myself on camera and realising that my Scottish accent's gone a bit weird. Let's put it. All Sheena Easton, but with an English twang. Uh, anyway, but I wanted to talk more about being authentic because really I think my integrity level is quite high, really high and uh, and I've said to people before, I actually said this to my boyfriend, that I realised that actually being with me could potentially be quite difficult because I really value honesty and truth and because I'm able to, I think most of the time, hold myself to high accountability, to be honest with myself, that if you're not at that place yet, um, then, you know, basically what I'm trying to say is, is my authenticity within myself could shine a light on someone else's um, to sort of show up places where they maybe aren't being authentic. Uh, and I'm not saying I do it all the time, I'm not saying that you know I've done it all my life um, because I think there's parts of us that hide within ourselves that we don't even know exist. Um, and it's not really until you start clearing out, till you start changing your diet and changing how you view the world and how you look at people. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that you really get the opportunity to see yourself and see how you're being. Uh, and it wasn't until, you know, I'd gone through a process of cleaning up my diet because of my daughter's allergies, um, seeing the changes in myself, becoming more in tune spiritually because of that. And then I had an opportunity to do a course with my friend Jane, who was uh, learning to coach this particular course called Calling in the One. Uh, and at the time I was actually in a relationship that was kind of floundering and I wasn't, in my head I wasn't really doing it to call in the perfect partner. Um, but she asked me to do it because I was showing an interest and she needed someone to, uh, she needed two people to go along the course with her as she was coaching. And I just actually found that it was actually about calling in myself. And I just learned a lot of valuable things about myself that I didn't even know were happening. Um, so yeah, so um, I'm sure there's lots of other different courses out there, but that one basically kind of 
did that for me and it's enabled me to that and, and a few other things books and uh, listening to YouTube videos um, Abraham Hicks uh, Marianne Williamson you know different people so just changing your mindset has managed to take me to a place where I can sort of look at how I'm acting out um, and sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not so good <laughs> and I just want to really encourage you all um, especially when you're fasting or juicing or um, eating you know really clean that it gives you this opportunity to just really take it to look at how you're showing up how you're being uh, and the line I want to give you is this uh, this one day this came to me in the morning that I was meditating maybe about a year ago and this sentence was who are you choosing to be and for some reason it just r rattled in my brain for days because ultimately it comes down to a choice about who are you choosing to be who do you want to be who's the real you and are you actually going to let that you out um because you know many of us believe that we have lots of different lives but what if it's not what if you only get this one chance to actually be you so i'll let you think about that for a bit uh, and hopefully i'll be doing a call with star kachara later uh, who is going to be helping us with some raw skin care no nasty chemicals, yay! Um, so I'll let you know when that will be available. Alright guys, I shall speak to you later. I need some new moves. Don't know.